welcome to Cheeky Crumbs. Today we're going to be making this absolutely spookylicious Halloween chocolate and orange spider cake. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays of the year and it is simply amazing. So let's get started. What you're going to need, two dots. 115 grams of butter, 230 grams of cream cheese, 600 grams of icing, and you can use any cake. I'm using my chocolate cake and I'll put a link to the recipe in the description below. Some orange extract, one teaspoon of vanilla essence, some orange food coloring and a black gel pen. To make your orange cream cheese icing, you're gonna, in a mixing bowl, you're gonna add your butter. Make sure it's at room temperature or you can just put it in the microwave for 15 seconds just to soften it up a little bit. And you're gonna add your cream cheese. And you wanna mix this on medium speed until it all comes together. Now you're going to add in your vanilla and your orange flavoring and you're going to mix until that's incorporated. Next you want to gradually add your icing sugar. So we said we we're going to need 600 grams but you might not need it all. So what you're going to do is you, while the mixer is running, you put one tablespoon at a time of icing sugar until you see the nice consistency and you can taste it. If it's starting to get too sweet, then stop adding sugar. I have added about 500 grams of my icing sugar and I've reached this consistency, which I quite like. So it's still creamy, but firm. And now we're gonna add in our food coloring. And I want this to be nice and orange, so I'm just going to add a few drops, I'm going to mix and then I'm going to adjust according to the color I want to get. Now you're going to want to place your orange icing in the fridge just so it firms up a little bit and we can cover our cake with it. Now we can decorate our cake. So I'm going to take just a, a little bit of icing and put it on the bottom just so that the cake doesn't slide off. And I'm gonna take my first layer and place it in the middle. Get some icing and I'm gonna put each layer a little bit of icing. Now that we have filled our in-between layers, we're gonna use the icing to cover the cake with a little crumb coat. So we're gonna take the icing and put it on the top. And we're gonna cover the top and the sides with a thin layer. And as you can see, I have actually split my icing at the beginning just so I wouldn't get any crumbs in this icing because that's the one I want to go on top at the end and I don't want any crumbs in it. Now you wanna place your cake in the fridge for at least 30 minutes just so the cream cheese can firm up. Now that your cake has firmed up, we were gonna do the final cover coat of cream cheese. So you're just gonna take your icing, place it on top, and using a little flat spatula, we're going to cover our cake. Thank you. 
So here is my cake. I have used a spatula in the end just to round like this to smooth all those edges on the sides. And you're gonna place your cake once again in the fridge for 30 minutes so that the cream cheese can firm up a little. While my cake is in the fridge, I thought I'd make some optional decorations using some fondant. These are super, super, super duper simple. I'm gonna make a little spider. Well, I'm gonna make a big one first that I'm probably gonna put in the middle of the cake. So you just take some black fondant and roll it in your hand and then gently squish it down a little bit. And then you're gonna take some more fondant and just roll it into really small snakes for the legs. So we're gonna need eight. You can make one longer snake and then just cut it. Now to make the eyes. And then you take two minuscule little black for the pupil. There you go, we have a little spider. Now we're ready to decorate our cake with a spider web. So I've taken my gel pen and you wanna make sure, cause sometimes at first when you squish it, the liquid comes out. Okay. So what you want to do is you wanna draw a cross line. So we're gonna start on this side. And then you want to draw two going through the center like that. And now you want to connect the lines, making a little curve. So you're going to try and go up a bit and then back down. So here is our chocolate and orange spider Halloween cake. And the little spiders are so adorable and they helped me hide some of the liquid that oozed out of that pen, to be honest. And they just look super spooky and cute. Now I get to cut a slice and eat it. Cake is so soft and chocolatey. And the icing is so creamy and orangey. And together, it's like Halloween magic. So I hope you enjoyed my video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought and what you would like to see me make in my future videos. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And I'll see you next time. Bye.